Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss one more UI provided by Prime Faces that is known as Select Checkbox Menu. Okay, let me show you the output first. Here, if you can see, here I have created three checkbox menus. This one, this one, this one. The first one is named as Basic. After that, Multiple, and after that, Grouped. These three checkbox menus I have created. Now, if you click here. then you can see from here i can select the options and the options which we are selecting that is being written here okay similarly in the multiple options here also we can check the options okay and here we have created group check box menu items okay now how to create this thing that portion i will discuss today okay now what i have done here as usual i have created a project named as select checkbox menu there i have a page index.xhtml okay and here what i have done inside the form i have used the panel grid having the number of column as 2 and the cell padding as 5 and uh, in the output label i have used basic okay now let me discuss first of all the basic one right now in the output level i have used basic now to create the checkbox menu here we have used select checkbox menu and the id i have given as menu in the value i have written checkbox view dot selected colors now as you can see this checkbox view is nothing but the name of the managed bin and this selected colors is nothing but the property which has been defined in the managed bin okay now the code of the managed bin i will show you later on okay in the label i have written colors and due to which this label is coming as colors right now in the update label i have written true in the filter mode i have written true now what is the meaning of this update label and filter that i will show you later on okay and inside the select checkbox menu what i have used i have used f column select item now this f column select item is nothing but the uh, ui control which has been provided by jsf okay and in its value what i have done i have written checkbox view color dot colors this means colors is nothing but the property which has been defined in the managed bin okay now let me move to or let me switch to the managed bin okay now here you can see i have created a managed bin named as color and the name of the managed bin i have written checkbox view so to access all the properties and methods of this particular class we need to use this name of the managed bin and that's why here i have used checkbox view right now in this class what i have done i have created some properties as you can see i have created a string array named as selected colors i have created another string array named as selected colors too i have created a list of string named as colors i have created a list of select item named as primary colors and i have created another string array named as selected primary colors okay now for all these properties i have created the corresponding getter and setter also as you can see all the getters and setters i have created right now in the init method what i have done in the init method i have created the object of the colors now as you can see this colors is nothing but of which type list type so here i have created the object of colors and in the colors what i have done i have added all these values red green blue black pink orange purple violet and yellow okay after that what i have done i have created the object of primary colors right now here i have created the object of another class named as selected item group and the name i have given as primary colors right and in the primary colors what i am using i am using a method set select items and inside this method what i have done i have created uh, three objects of select item class now the name of the select items i have given as red green and blue uh, blue now remember these are nothing but the names and this is nothing but the value okay similarly i have created the object of selected item group class again and the name i have given as rest colors now here in the rest colors what i have done again i have added three items select items actually named as pink yellow and purple and after creating the objects of this select item group what i have done i have added these values 
to the primary colors object which i have created here as you can see i have written primary colors dot add pc primary colors dot add rc okay now if i move to index dot html now you can see in the select checkbox menu the value equals to written as checkbox view dot selected colors this selected colors as i as you can see this selected color is the property or the string array which i have defined here right now in uh, you can notice here that inside the select checkbox menu if i click here then we are getting these items okay now from where these items are coming these items are coming due to this particular tag okay now here what i have written i have written value equals to check checkbox view dot colors now colors is what this colors is nothing but the object of list class and in the colors class i have added all these colors as a result when i am using value equals to check box view dot colors this means all the colors will be visible here red green blue black pink orange purple violet and yellow which i have specified here okay now now what i am doing is that suppose i am selecting the item red okay now as soon as i check the red item then it is visible here similarly if i am checking blue then this item is blue now how this is happening because here i have written in the select checkbox menu in the property value i have written checkbox view dot selected colors this means whatever colors i will select from here that will appear in the select checkbox menu item that's why whatever colors we are selecting that colors is being reflected here okay and this selected color is is what this selected colors is nothing but the property which i have defined here okay and what this selected color is doing as you can see this selected color is returning the selected colors okay this means whatever item we will choose from this particular checkbox that will be visible here right this is the basic checkbox menu now if you can see here here i have written update label equals to true now let me make it as false okay once you make it as false now if you refresh this and now if you check it here now if you can see i am selecting the colors but those colors are not being reflected here why because in the update level i have made it as false but if i make it as true then the colors which we will select from the checkbox menu that will be visible here okay now here you can see another property is there filter filter equals to true now since the filter is equals to true that's why this portion you are getting here from here you can search right but if i make it as false let me make the filter as false okay now let me refresh this now click here now see we are not getting the filter option right this is how the basic checkbox menu item is working okay now next we have in the output level i have written multiple and the value i have specified as multiple that's why we are getting this now here we are using again select checkbox menu but this time here we have specified multiple equals to true okay and in the label what i have written cities okay now to use this multiple attribute we need to use the latest version of prime faces okay here i am using prime faces 7.0 as you can see prime faces 7.0 lower than this you will not be able to use this particular property that is you will not be able to use the multiple attribute okay to use this we need to use the prime faces 7.0 and the download link i will provide in the description of my uh, video okay now here also what i have done here also in the value i have written checkbox view dot selected colors to and in the select item what i have written i have written checkbox view dot colors this means whenever you will click here then all the colors will come here okay now if you choose here then you can see red green blue black all the selected items are coming and if you want you can close the items which this property was not or was not visible here if you choose this options you will not be able to cancel it but if you are using multiple attribute then the items which we are selected you will be able to cancel it also okay now again we have third one that is the grouped okay now in the value as you can see i have written group that's why this group is coming right 
now here what i have written in the value i have written checkbox view dot selected primary colors now if you can see in the primary colors you can see selected primary colors is a property okay and what this selected primary colors is returning it is returning the primary colors okay and you can see in the select item what i have done i have written checkbox view dot primary colors okay now this primary color is what this primary color is nothing but the object which i have created here and in the primary colors i have added two things if you remember pc and rc and pc is nothing the primary colors and rc is nothing but the rest colors now in the primary colors i have added three colors and in the rest colors also i have added three colors right that's why whenever i will select this particular option then you can see grouping has been done because here what i have done here i have written uh, in the select item i have written checkbox view dot primary colors now in primary colors we have two things primary colors and rest colors that's why it has been grouped primary colors and rest colors in the primary colors three colors we have added red green and blue as you can see in the primary option i have added red green and blue and in the rest colors i have added pink yellow and purple okay that's why in the primary section we are getting red green and blue and in the rest colors we are getting pink yellow and purple now select it and you can see the item is being shown here okay this is how we can use the group check box okay now this is the entire code you can see this is the code for the index.xhtml right and this is the code for the managed bin this is the code for the managed bin okay you can see here this is the entire code for the managed bin right and uh, below are the properties this means the getter and setter which i have created right this is how we can use the checkbox menu item in prime faces i hope you have liked my video if you liked my video please subscribe my channel thank you so much